the introduction, I have to take a selfie because I promised my fabulous five that I would take a selfie, okay? <laughs> All right. Respect for one another grows from sharing knowledge in AVID. That was the first line of the speech I delivered as a keynote speaker in the 2004 Sacramento AVID Summer Institute. 19 years later, here I am. My name is Sara Elias de Castillo. I was born in Michoacán, Mexico, and was brought to the United States when I was just two years old. In our attempt to reach the world of opportunities, our family immigrated, but had to separate to do so. When we first arrived, we settled in Los Angeles, but later moved to Planada, a small rural town nestled in the heart of the Central Valley. We lived in a small antiquated migrant camp, El Campo Rosita, where the casita's wooden walls would allow wind to blow through, making horrifying sounds that frightened me at night. My family and I struggled for years as victims of domestic violence. We moved from home to home, and that instability ended with us being taken into a woman's shelter in 1998. From that summer on, my five brothers and I were raised in a single parent home. Oftentimes, we lacked many physiological needs. There were days we had no food or electricity, but at least by then, our home was safe from violence. And most importantly, there was an abundance of love. En la pobreza, no supimos querer. My mom worked long hours under the scorching sun and endured the harsh conditions of the sparing winter. I recall the summer of my seventh grade year when I went planting tomatoes for the very first time. Perhaps the most haunting experience working in the fields was picking broccoli in the rain during the winter season when I couldn't distinguish if the water running down my cheeks was rain or tears dropping from my eyes. I always knew education was important. I dreamt of one day going to college, but from those muddy fields covered with endless rows of broccoli, it only seemed like an unattainable dream. It was not until I became part of AVID that I began to prepare myself for college and learn how to do so. Given that my father had no education and my mother only completed up to second grade, I really didn't know how I would make it a college. In AVID, I learned to take Focus Cornell notes. I had the opportunity to be part of a group of students that helped and supported me through tutorial sessions. I became organized, but most importantly, I learned to believe in myself because for the very first time, in AVID, I felt like I belonged. AVID empowered me. Being a keynote speaker in 2004, when I was only 16 years old, changed my life. When I stood in front of hundreds of educators and delivered my testimony, I realized that I was capable of accomplishing anything I set my mind to. But life happens. I got pregnant and I was married by 17. And though I walked my high school graduation with pride, my college and career aspirations came to a halt. However, my AVID family had not forgotten about me. My AVID teacher, Mr. Rogers, my Spanish teacher, Dr. Martinez, and my high school principal, Ms. Alley, offered me a job as an AVID tutor. I worked diligently to learn how to facilitate the AVID tutorial process by asking higher level questions. I performed binder checks for ev every Friday for every, wait, every Friday for eight years. And I reminded my students that by then, I knew all the tricks in the books. <laughs> <laughs> I observed and learned from the great leaders of my life. For I knew one day, I too would be an educator, a leader, 
someone that would inspire future generations. I did all that while raising my beautiful family and attending college. While at Merced Community College, I persisted in classes while pregnant with my third child. After delivering my daughter, I returned to school right away to complete my final exams. I graduated from Merced Community College in 2010 with an Associates of Arts degree. And in 2012, just six weeks after delivering my fourth child, I transferred to the University of California Merced. I recall longing to be, wanting to be with my newborn child during those long lectures. Yet, I was determined to earn my degree. Two years later, I graduated from UC Merced, pregnant with my fifth child. <laughs> I am truly blessed with my fabulous five. In 2016, I was hired to serve, to teach, inspire, and give back to my community of Planada. As an avid elective teacher at Cesar e. Chavez Middle School, I leveraged relational capacity through team building activities. I knew that I had to give my best for each and every single one of my students. Eventually, I became the avid coordinator for Planada Elementary School where we implemented AVID in the fifth grade classrooms. I have worked closely with our fifth grade team to lead the implementation of our program into the lower grade levels. And today, here I am standing before you as the AVID district director for the Planada Elementary School District. I am humble to work along other servant leaders like Mr. Gonzalez, Mr. Nava, and Mrs. Escobar, who have inspired me through their own leadership to continue to pursue my dreams and aspirations. Our leadership team has a passion to support and lead rigorous academic programs that align with the AVID college and career readiness system. It is through the classroom experience as an avid student, a tutor, a teacher, a coordinator, and now an avid district director that I am reminded of how far I've made it in life. Through the students I serve, I see a vivid reflection of myself. It is our Planada scholars and my own children, Hugo, Juliana, Brianna, Eliana, and Luciana that inspire me to continue to grow. Dr. Victor Rios once said, young people who face adversity have the power to transform their lives, turn their struggles into their strengths, and accomplish the unbelievable. It is not our problems that define who we are. It is our endurance, our fight against all odds, and undying determination to persevere as we become the best version of ourselves. I am honored to have my mother in the audience. Es un honor tener a mi madre en, aquí conmigo. And this is for my mom. Mi filosofía es que nuestros problemas no son lo que nos define, ni lo que nos hace diferente a los demás. Yo no fui la única niña que cruzó la frontera ilegalmente, tampoco la única niña que creció en la pobreza sin papá, tampoco la única jovencita que salió embarazada antes del matrimonio. Lo que nos hace únicos y diferentes a los demás es nuestra lucha 
cómo trabajamos ardurosamente sin rajarnos. Siempre... Siempre mirando hacia adelante a un futuro mejor que nuestro pasado. Víctor, mamá, hermanos, los amo y sí se pudo. En Eres by Living, en Eres by Living, and overcoming these huge life disparities that I stand before you. And with great pride, I can say, avid, here I am. <laughs>